Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today is a related text or something that you could use that is a good example to link to Distinctively Visual. So this poem is William Street by Kenneth Slessor, and Kenneth Slessor is a famous Australian poet. Um, he wrote this poem in 1935, and um, it is based on a street in King's Cross. Now, what you need to distinguish is that the area of King's Cross um, is quite similar to, I guess, its perception nowadays in that throughout its existence, or for a lot of the time, through um, the 1900s is that it did have that reputation of being a red light district that was full of um, places that people could drink alcohol, so lots of pubs, and there was also um, prostitutes um, and that kind of um, thing going on there as well. So um, it's just important to keep that in mind because we're looking at a completely different context. So I guess the main thing that we need to look at first of all is that we're going from looking at these natural and elements of nature with Douglas Stewart to then looking at something that is man-made and now we have this interaction with um, viewing something and how we perceive it. So I'll read through the poem and then we'll go through and have a look at it a bit more closely. So the red globes of light, the liquor green, the pulsing arrows and the running fire, spilt on the stones, go deeper than a stream. You find this ugly, I find it lovely. Ghosts' trousers like the dangle of hung men in, pay, in porn shop windows, bumping knee by knee, but none inside to suffer or condemn. You find this ugly, I find it lovely. Smells rich and rasping, smoke and fat and fish, and puffs of paraffin, that crimp the nose, or grease that blesses onions with a hiss. You find it ugly, I find it lovely. The dips and moles with flips and shiny gaze, death at their elbows, hunger at their heels, raging the pavement of their pasturage, you find it ugly, I find it lovely. So what you will notice is through this poem, he go, um, Kenneth Lesser is d depicting, I guess, four different images. And the main premise of this poem is that repeated statement of you find this ugly I find it lovely because what that statement does is it really directly reflects back on this idea of distinctively visual that of taking something that people would usually dismiss or put down or not really appreciate and he's appreciating it. So we start off in the first stanza by looking at the red globes of light, the liquor green, the pulsing arrows and the running fire. So this is all about the perception in the street itself. So the lights, so that red light district, the liquor, talking about, you know, the bottles and things like that. And it really is depicting quite a, you know, low element of Australian society. And so we need to then look at, you know, urbanised environments and how this is something that's come about um, within our history and then this area has kind of remained the same or similar over time. What this then moves on to when we look into the second stanza is the idea that this reflects the 1935 depression. So we're looking at, you know, a time when Australia and much of the world is following that depression in the um, United States and it has spilt out across the world. And so what we have here is we have this idea of the pawn shop. Now, you know, that's what we don't really call a pawn shop in um, Australia that much. Um, like we do have them, but what it's also referencing is, you know, like the op shops or the places where people have to go to buy things and um, because they don't have the money. So it's like ghost's trousers, like the dangle of hung men. So, you know, in these windows of these shops are just, you know, items of life and that are just... Um, there because they have to, um, you know, someone will need them. And so it's really highlighting this de the depression time and the low class. It's also looking at the lower class of Australians at the time as well. Okay. Um, it is also, we move on to the next, which is then about that environment. So we have this concept of like the, that 
moving, you know, the fast food, the fatty food. So, you know, there's nice smells. They're rich and rasping. It's smoke and fat and fish. So we're talking about, you know, like the fish and chip shop, puffs of paraffin that crimp the nose. So that's what's helping some of these things stay alight or grease that blesses onions with a hiss. So, you know, that same kind of idea of deep fried and, you know, so what people might be turned away from is, you know, there's those, the idea of those positive things like rich, which, and the blesses onions. So there's those kind of positive images in that stanza, but then you find it ugly, I find it lovely. Then we have this final stanza, which kind of brings it together and it's kind of not a very pleasant stanza, but it's again, um, the dips and moles. The dips is referring to the alcoholics and then the moles is um, derived from that euphemism for a whore or a prostitute. Um, with flip and shiny gaze, death of the elbows, hunger at their heels. So it's talking, it is really linking to that situation of death of the elbows. So it's linking to that idea of drugs and hunger at their heels is that, it's, you know, it's chasing them. It's actually... Um, you know, personifying these things. So I will actually, whilst doing this, go like this. In that, um, it's kind of giving those two things qualities that they're chased. So death of the elbows, hunger at their heels, you know, that they're actually alive and, um, you know, they're extremely hungry. And it says they're ra ranging the pavement of their pasturage. So it's, you know, he's making that link to the, to nature and that idea of, you know, a lot of the Australian culture is based on farming. And so it's almost like they're farming their area. Okay. So there's, it's kind of metaphorical there in a sense. Again, that you find it ugly, I find it lovely. I think one of the main ways that this then becomes distinctive is obviously taking those, you know, negative images and then bringing them to life and looking at them in a different way and considering how you can look at something like a particular street that is known to be full of prostitutes and bars and pawn shops and then what we see is this appreciation of it and I think there's that transition of you find it ugly I find it lovely and I think that statement links directly to Douglas Stewart and the concept of distinctly visual in that it's taking something that you or the viewer might not necessarily understand and presenting it in how they view it. So what we see is this transition from um, this first person perspective, which is typically presented in the poems, to this second person. So it's really that demanding and almost the imperative of, you know, you need to look at this in a different way and it's right into it, it's straightforward and I think that clearly depicts how it can be incorporated. If you do want any extra notes on this poem with a little bit more detail, come and see me in class and I'm more than happy to give them to you. There you go.